Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor Theme Builder video series. In the last video, we learned how to design the single block post template using Elementor Theme Builder. So this was the single block post template that we designed in the last video. This is the title of the blog post. This is the recent post, contact form and some images in the gallery. And this is the content of the blog post. Now in this video, we will see how to design the block page template using Elementor Theme Builder. Block page is the page where all your blog posts will be listed in different layouts. It can be grid layout, it can be columns. Now the default layout does not look good. So we are going to customize the default blog post layout using Elementor Theme Builder. On this website, we do not have the blog page created yet. So we are going to create the blog page first. I'm already logged into the dashboard of the website. Let's go to pages and click on add new. Name it as blog. So this will be the name of the blog page. Now click on publish. Do not make any other changes. Just click on publish. So this is the blog page. Okay, now let's view the blog page. Right now it is blank page, so it will not show anything. Now let's go back to the dashboard again. Now go to settings and then go to reading. Now here you will see the post page, select blog. So now we are assigning this page as the archive of all the blog posts. So click on save changes. Now let's go back to the page and let's refresh it. Now here you will see the blog post archived on this page. So this is the main blog page of your website. Now it shows the image of the page, the title, the description, and it does not look good. Now we are going to customize this blog page templates. Now let's go back to the dashboard and then go to templates, click on theme builder. So we are using theme builder to design the blog post template. Now click on archive. Now there are no templates created. Now click on add new. Now these are the pre-designed blog post templates. If you want, you can use one of them. We are going to create it from the scratch. So let's close it. Here we are going to, now let's see, we do not have the title here. So we are going to add the title section also. So click on the plus sign. And just like the previous videos, we are going to add the title section for the blog post for the blog page. So we'll do style. This will be the background image that we used before also. We are going to add some background overlay color. Now let this time let's use Let's use the red color. Let's make it dark. Now let's add some padding to the top and bottom. Okay, now in this section we need the title. Here go to heading and Add the heading here and just name it as a blog. So this will be the blog page. Change the color to white. Now you can customize this page as you wish. You can make many changes to the colors and the layout settings of this blog post. Now on this page, we are not going to add any sidebar. If you want, you can use the sidebar also, like we designed the sidebar in the previous videos for the single post template and the single page template. So if you want to use sidebar on the blog page, you can watch the previous video and see how we can create the sidebar for the blog page also. In this template, I'm going to use only a single column and all the posts will be listed on this page. So let's add some padding here to the top and bottom. Now click on the plus sign. Now here you will see the option archive post drag it and drop it here now this is the default layout now there are many options to customize this page this is a layout right now it shows classic i'm going to change it to cards and here you will see the category of the post so i think the cards option looks good to me so this is the image of the blog post this is the title 
this is the short description and this is the read more button this is the date when the blog post has been published this is the number of comments on this blog post so i think this layout looks good to me if you want to change the columns you can change the columns also two columns will look bigger let me change it to three columns if you have number of posts then you can change the number of the columns also so that all the blog posts will be listed in single column if you do not want to show the image you can simply check no and it will remove the image title the title tag is h3 if you want to change it to h4 h2 you can change it from here this is the excerpt and the length of the excerpt this is the short description of your blog post now date and comments if you want to delete them you can simply click this cross icon and it will be removed if you want to add some other data you can select from here author you will see the author here now read more if you do not want to show you can simply hide it and read more it will be hidden if you want to change the text you can change it from here now this is the badge you can see I can hide the badge uh, right now it shows the category for the badge you can change it to tags or categories I think categories will look good this is the pagination after a certain number of blog posts on a single page it will show the next page option to you so let's say if you have 20 blog posts and this blog page will show only 10 blog posts so the remaining 10 blog posts will be shown on the next page okay right now we have only three blog posts on this page okay these are the advanced settings this is the message if there is no nothing found message is there now these are the style options now this is you can see the column gaps let me change it to 20 and rows gap let me change it to 20 so this gap and this gap will be changed card setting these are the card settings background color if you want to change the background color you can change the background color from here let's have it light blue border color let's add a black border border width one pixel now border radius let's have it as 20 so here you will see the radius vertical padding horizontal padding if you want to add some padding you can change for the settings from here hover effect so it's a gradient you can see the change when you hover with the cursor on the column these are the image settings I'm not going to change the image settings content settings the color description color excerpt color let's change the excerpt color to dark black a read more button let's change it to let's say blue okay now metadata color let's change to green and you will see this green color here these are the pagination settings so these are the styles now let's click on publish let's add condition all archive or post archive so we are going to change it to post archives so only the blog post will be shown using this template because in the upcoming videos we will be adding woocommerce plugin to this website and we will be using woocommerce products to be shown using different templates so right now we are using post archive and click on save and close now let's go back to the blog page and refresh it now you will see the all the blog posts are arranged in the new layout so this one looks better than the default archive layout now if, there are many options that you can use and customize the layout according to the color combination of your own website so this is how you can create the blog page template using elementor theme builder in the next video we will see how to create the 404 page template using elementor theme builder 
So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.